This is your 28storms.com cyclone update for Monday the 21st of November. Starting first with the Madden Julian Oscillation, we see that the downward pulse is currently over the maritime continent and the western Pacific, so we can anticipate below average convective activity in those areas over the next few days, but the enhancing pulse is already making its way over Africa and is about to enter the Indian Ocean. This forecast is also supported by the GFS ensembles. They take the MGO, which is currently in octant 1, more so into octants 2 and 3, which promotes above average convection and the possibility for more tropical cyclones in the Indian Ocean over the next seven days. If we look into the southern hemisphere really quickly, we see that there are no organized tropical disturbances near Australia, and the monsoon trough out toward the east is not showing any signs of organization. On the water vapor, we continue to see unfavorable upper-level conditions with a lot of troughing just to the south, and this is also being indicated by the latest shear analysis from the University of Wisconsin. We have areas experiencing over 50 to 60 knots of vertical wind shear, so the southern Pacific is shut down at this time. However, as to be expected, the upper level conditions are a little bit more favorable for tropical development in the Indian Ocean, and they should become increasingly more favorable as that upward pulse of the MGO begins to spread over the region. And the two main focal points will be near Sri Lanka and just off the northeast coast of Madagascar. This is the latest low-level vorticity product, once again from the University of Wisconsin. And currently there are no organized tropical disturbances anywhere near the Bay of Bengal or Sri Lanka, but that is likely going to change within the next three to seven days. And more immediately, we do have an area of low pressure trying to form to the northeast of Madagascar. We can see that there is a vorticity max located just to the northeast of that area. And development will likely be slow to occur, but it is possible that we will get a cyclone in the southern Indian Ocean, along with another one in the Bay of Bengal near Sri Lanka, all within the next seven days. The following is the latest enhanced infrared satellite animation of the entire Indian Ocean, and we can make out where that vorticity max is located. We do see that there is a convective cluster to the northeast of Madagascar. It's not highly organized as to be expected this early on, but this tropical disturbance does appear to be in a somewhat marginally favorable upper air environment so once again we cannot rule out the possibility of very slow tropical development and it should be noted that the steering currents in the southwest Indian Ocean are fairly weak right now and they are forecast to remain that way for the next several days here so any tropical disturbance that persists in this area will likely be a slow mover so we have plenty of time to monitor that system for any sign of development and as we work our way more toward the north, there's really not that much in the way of any tropical disturbances to the southeast of Sri Lanka. But on the latest water vapor, we can begin to make out the fact that the upper level conditions are trying to become more conducive with time here. We see that there's an unfavorable trough across much of the northern half of the Bay of Bengal, but this trough is going to slowly lift out more toward the northeast, and that is going to allow for a more favorable upper level ridge currently located over Southeast Asia, Malaysia, and Indonesia to build a little bit more toward the northwest with time and that will set up the possibility for a surface low formation. And finally before we take a close look at the latest model guidance I would like to show you the 72 hour animation of the precipitable water analysis product and usually this is a good indication of where the surface low formation and convergence of moisture is best occurring and this will give you a good feel as to where the best tropical disturbances are located. Sure enough we can really see an increase in low level convergence just to the northeast of Madagascar so that is a signal to me that that disturbance is trying to get its act together and while we don't really see any signs of low-level convergence in the Bay of Bengal just yet notice this influx of moisture beginning to spread in from the east toward the end of the animation and I expect this to continue being pumped into the lower half of the Bay of Bengal as we go into the short-term and medium range so here we are looking at the latest 0z run of the GFS model starting with the mid-level forecast and as of right now we have a mid-level ridge centered over southern Pakistan and western India and this is helping to keep the monsoon trough displaced well to the south but as this pattern begins to evolve over the next four days this trough currently over Saudi Arabia and Iran will push this mid-level ridge more toward the east and notice how it's advancing from the western half of India eastward into Bangladesh and the extreme northern half of the Bay of Bengal and that is going to allow for a return of southeast flow which will help that monsoon trough make a return to the northern Indian Ocean. This is the latest shear forecast and areas toward the south painted in green 
our area is experiencing very little in the way of any vertical wind shear and with that mid-level ridge located over the lower half of the Middle East that is going to help keep the mid-latitude westerlies well to the north of any potential developing tropical cyclone so this is going to indicate to us that the upper level environment should be favorable for at least some slow tropical development as an area of low pressure begins to develop and then work its way closer towards southern India and Sri Lanka and this is now the 96 hour forecast so we're looking four days out and again this trough even though it's prograding more toward the east it should still remain well to the north over northern India and Pakistan as we see favorable upper level anticyclonic ridging over much of southern India so after observing the latest mid to upper air forecast from the GFS it is really no surprise that as we advance the sea level pressure and precipitation forecast into 72 hours that we begin to see a broad area of low pressure and associated shower and thunderstorm activity begin to develop here near Sri Lanka and this low is forecast to deepen or strengthen as we go into day five and it becomes quite obvious that we have a 1000 HPA surface low just to the south of India here which is indicative to me that this is now a tropical cyclone we're talking at least a low end tropical cyclone and with that mid-level ridge beginning to move more toward the east the cyclone should begin to turn more toward the northwest with time and that is exactly what the model was showing so at the very least we can expect a rainy pattern here for much of the region of course you would also like to look at more than one model just to see if there is any type of forecast consistency or agreement so now this is the 24 hour forecast from the ECMWF we really don't see a whole lot starting off in the tropics although we do notice that there is that 1007 HPA service low that we discussed earlier in the video located just to the northeast of Madagascar and you will soon notice that the model really does not show that area of low pressure moving all that much within the next five days but it is showing a little bit in the way of intensification it's down to 1004 HPA as we go into the medium range and also notice much like the GFS it's beginning to deepen that area of low pressure just near Sri Lanka as we go into day five and then as we go deeper into the forecast period the model luckily is not showing quite as much development as was being indicated by the GFS but this is only one model run and the ECMWF very well may become a little bit more aggressive in future model cycles and it also has that weak tropical area of low pressure inching a little bit closer toward the northern coast of Madagascar by day seven and one final look at the southern hemisphere using the latest run from the GFS the model is showing very calm conditions with no organized tropical disturbances showing any sign of tropical development over the next week or so so all is quiet near Australia for the time being but it looks like active times may be in store across portions of the Indian Ocean interests in Sri Lanka southern India and the northern coast of Madagascar are advised to simply keep a watch on the tropics over the next several days as there is a the potential for at least two minor tropical cyclones to develop relatively close to land so thank you for viewing this latest video keep it tuned to 28storms.com slash cyclone for more cyclone related information and more frequent daily video updates regarding the tropical weather in the Indian Ocean and the Southern Pacific.